right, let's get on to this AMC 10A problem number 17 from the year 2022. How many three digit positive integers, A, B, C, these little lines are kind of meaningless. They just mean it's not a product. Uh, are there whose non-zero digits, that will be important probably later, should underline it, non-zero digits A, B, and C satisfy this is those digits in a repeated fashion. Uh, you might know the shortcut, uh, three things in a row is going to be A, B, C over 999. Uh, technically it's more of 100A plus 10B plus C over 999. This will need to equal, um, equal one third. You should know the shortcuts for these. If you have one repeated uh, uh, digit afterwards, it's that digit over nine. If you have two, it's those digits over 99, three over 999 and so on. So you're gonna have equals one third and then you're gonna have, again, same thing here. It will be A over nine plus B over nine plus C over nine. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is probably multiply by nine on both sides. That's gonna get rid of this, this, and this, because you have nine times. You don't have to do it with the one third. You pick one, either the parenthesis or this. Over here, we'll cancel and cancel and get 111. I recognize 111 as a divisible by three. I will multiply by three. You're now gonna have 100A plus 10B plus C over 37 equals a plus b plus c because the three is gone it canceled we did both sides this nine canceled two and that three cancels there okay so now what i cross multiply so you're gonna get 37 a b and c but i'm gonna move the 37 a over simultaneously to get 63 a because 10 b is here don't forget it's 37 all of these right so when I move the 10B to this side, it's better to go to that side. You're gonna get 27B and then subtract C from 37 to get plus 36C. Now, all of these are divisible by nine, so you might as well divide. Uh, 7A equals 3B plus 4C. Okay, the fact that this is three plus four and it makes seven, makes me think we could probably find one, one, one as one of the numbers. First, go back and check. Did it say they are distinct? Mm, nope, does not say distinct. Then one, one, one seems to be okay. It just says non-zero. Uh, you can go check it in there and it will work by the way, um, if you're not feeling confident in the answer. Now, what if I made a two though? If I made a two, so it was 14, would it work again? Like three times two, four times two? Basically what you're saying is that B and C are equal. And if B and C were equal, it would be seven A equals seven B, which would mean that A and B are equal also. And you can go all the way down this list, hitting all of these, okay? Now there's nine of them right there. And if you stop there, they've got you with a nice trap answer right here, just waiting for you to be lazy. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna have to think about this and how it's going to work. You can think of this side as kind of like a line, if you will, uh, in which you go like up four in one, down three in the other, or vice versa. So what I'm gonna do is pick one of these out, like two, 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 and I'm gonna think about the 14 for A, and I'm gonna wonder, is there any other way to do this? Um, essentially, if I took away three from here, I would get 11, is that divisible by four? No. If I took away another three to get down to eight, is that divisible by four? Yes, it would be though three times two and four times two if I did that. So not so helpful. And if you kept going uh, down from eight, subtracting three will not be five is not divisible by four and subtracting three to two is not divisible by four. So let's go to something like three, three, three. Okay, now understand what we mean by that. We're saying basically that A, B, A is three. And so you're doing seven times three to get 21. 
equals, uh, this would be three times three plus four times three. But again, we'd like to look at this and think, what if I took away, let's say subtract four instead. If I took away four, you're at 17. You're looking for numbers divisible by three. Take away four again, you're going to be at 11. That's, or no, no, I'll tell you, uh, eight, be at 13. And then take away four again, you'll be at nine. Now nine is divisible by three, but again, that's three times three and four times three that gets you that. We already have that one over there. Uh, if you keep going down, you won't find another one that works. However, notice that B could be seven and C could be zero, except for the fact it's non-zero. So let's look at this one. I kind of want to think about this. Three, three, three. I can do three, seven, zero. We're not going to count it, but I want you to observe what's happening. You are subtracting four here, but adding three here. Again, a lot like slope would work because it's linear. That's what's going on there. Um, so then once you've got that one, it should give you an idea for how to do the rest. You do four, four, and four. You know that works. We already got it over there. I want to try this again. If I make this number go up by four, I would get uh, eight. And if I make this number go down by three, it would be one. I want to check and see if that works. Four times seven, does it equal eight times three plus one times four? Sure does, 24 and four, 28, and you got 28 over here as well, so you've got that one. But notice, could we go the other way? If this is eight, four, you could go down to zero and up to seven, that would work, but again, zero's not allowed, just like that one's not allowed. So we did get one new one here in 481, and this is kind of the way I worked through the rest of it. I'm gonna go five, 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 and now that I have that slope action kind of understood in a faster processing speed, I'm gonna add four to this to get nine, subtract three from this to get two. Five, nine, two, just quick check, uh, 35, 27, and eight is 35. It does check out. So then um, let's go the other way. If I subtract four again, I'll be at five, one, and then go up three, eight. Again, subtract four, subtract four, add three, add three. But if you're going the other way, you subtract three. So you're gonna get three here, that's plus two. So we got plus one, and now we have plus two. Let's go and do it with six, six, six. And if you go up four, you'll be at 10. That's kind of a problem, right? So then we can't do that. Could we go down four to two? And then this would go up three to nine. Make sure one's going down, one's going up to make sure you're not making a mistake. Also, you can check over here, plus three on the right. There is another new one. Okay, so after that, if you try seven, 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 you can't go up because you'll hit 11. If you go down to three, that's great, but this one has to go up to 10, which is not allowed. In fact, now that this number is seven, uh, they're both numbers are gonna be going either up above or the other way as well. You're not gonna have any more cases that work for eight, 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 or nine, nine, nine. You've got plus one, plus one, plus two, total plus four, there were nine here. Nine plus four, 13, let's go to 18.